It's not typical. Costco is a little different if you've ever shopped there. Costco isn't for quick shopping. It's the complete opposite. This isn't just another grocery store. This isn't a small corner store. Like an airplane hangar, it's huge. Pallets are literally stacked up. You won't find our signs or maps. Instead, the aisles are simply numbered. Additionally, Costco constantly rotates new products in and out. But what is the purpose of Costco stores being designed this way? And do you think it has helped the retailer grow to more than 800 locations? To draw you in, Costco uses the treasure hunt retail psychology. That is in addition to simply having reasonable prices on stuff on the shelf. Discounts don't last forever, so customers must take advantage on the spot. With Costco's treasure hunt strategy, the big idea is to keep customers interested by encouraging them to explore new deals every day. In the end, customers buy more products and shop longer. A Costco customer might expect to buy only a few items, but ends up buying a whole bunch of stuff. There's something different about the store when you walk in. So, you're compelled to purchase, and you're also compelled to come back to see what's new. It might not be as enjoyable if the products were the same every time. Now, we need to focus to what makes Costco products cheaper than its competitors. The Costco concept is kind of like a warehouse club. Paying a membership gets you lower prices. The basic plan costs $60 a year. For $120 a year, the customer can upgrade to the executive membership. Most of Costco's money comes from membership fees. The goal is to keep memberships growing by offering more exciting stuff at a better price. The idea is to make money from memberships, then sell things as cheaply as possible. The internal code prohibits them from simply raising the price of something to increase profits. Costco saves time and money by focusing on pallets instead of putting each item on a shelf individually. This eliminates some labor costs and introduces some time savings. According to Costco, their average profit for items is 11%, not the 25 to 50% you see in retail. Low prices have kept customers loyal and helped spread the word. People also like the variety of products at Costco and finding a good deal is psychologically satisfying. Costco employees are usually very skilled and have been there a long time, so they know what Costco customers want. There's a tendency for retailers to think that shoppers want more choices. Costco does not believe in that. They sell a limited number of items. Their warehouses stock about 3,700 products at any given time. That's 10% of what other competitors like Walmart would stock. Despite the fewer items, Costco stocks a lot of good stuff. Products must earn their place in Costco. Customers at Costco end up with fewer choices that are higher in quality. The Kirkland brand is Costco's private label. Costco generates $166 billion in annual sales from Kirkland products. The brand already has a strong reputation with customers. They know that they are receiving high quality at low prices. Costco was able to stay strong during the pandemic because of customer loyalty. There's no doubt that Costco has survived the pandemic. In fact, they prospered in the pandemic. While online shopping is getting more popular, Costco has leaned into its strategy of driving members to its stores. It was against one of their main objectives to focus on online shopping. Their goal is to get customers in the door. Impulse purchases are what they want. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and join our notification squad.